<laughs> you dancing? Yeah. I saw you. You're bouncing. You want to say good morning? Good morning guys. It is Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock. Obviously, I have taken a shower because my hair is soaking wet, but I think today is going to be a no makeup, stay in your pajamas kind of day, even though we're just about to go out. Stu is going to help us run errands because I hate driving and it's snowing. Yeah, it's snowing, Ronan, and it's going to keep snowing. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be, I'm supposed to tomorrow hang out with Darian and then hang out with my dad. And my dad canceled last Wednesday because it was snowing, and I'm pretty sure it's going to snow this Wednesday, too. So, yeah. Things might be canceled tomorrow, but today we're going to go out to um, the bank and the post office and Hannaford. And I just don't want to put on a bra or change into, like, denim prisons. And I just can't be bothered to do it, because I was in jeans all last night when I was at work. And it felt like torture, so I'm ready to relax and be comfortable. But Ronan has on some new clothes. Yes. Dad. What's this say? Nana and me. Dad. Stu just went into his post office. We're in like our town still, and then my post office is in the town a couple minutes over. Um, and we have, Ronan is so mad because he's in his car seat and we're not moving, but he's also really tired so I'm hoping that somewhere along the way he'll fall asleep. Yeah, I know you're unhappy. Jeez, he's pretty serious about it. I'm going to turn the camera off just because Ronan needs my attention. I'm going to put my hand back there and like let him suck on my hand or something. Ugh, this is what it looks like outside. We're at Stu's bank and there's a dog over here. He's so angry at me. I don't know if I can zoom up on it, but I've never even met a mean dog, to be honest. You can't really see him, but he's barking like crazy. I know mean dogs exist, but I've never actually met one. And I hope Ronan never meets one, because dogs are scary when they're not nice. Like, my roommate Amy in college terrified of dogs, literally. Her college professor, one of them, brought his dog into, like, the class one time and just let it wander around and she said she was had anxiety like the whole time and I know a lot of other people are scared of dogs but it's always been hard for me to imagine just because I've never met a mean one. I feel sad just looking at this dog barking at me like I'm offended kind of that it doesn't like me because most dogs do and I got my packages from Amanda my friend and she's my valentine and uh, Ronan's valentine because she sent us small presents even though I tried to get her not to but I said she could send Ronan the um it's like Pump, little pumpkin butt teething oil that I was looking for and that Lynn's uses so I know that's one of the things and then she was like I sent you something. Papa's getting poblanos. They're gonna have stuffed peppers. I'm not eating that. I don't like peppers. You like that Ronan? Ooh, it's very dark. I'll take a bite when you guys make it but <gasps> he likes it. We've got cilantro, poblano. We need Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack. What? We need a jalapeno. Jalapeno. Oh, we're going from hot to hotter? Yeah. I told you guys. Mom was scared of that sauce the other night, and now she's making this. So, we are white, but we don't eat super white. Home again, home again. And guess who is grumpy? Because he really only took like a 20 minute nap in the car and then he woke up so now now this is happening we're just going to ignore it because we don't want to give it any more attention than we have to calm down and then I put a bunch of food in here um, tons of meat baby food meat tastes disgusting I have tried his meat food before just to make sure like what is he eating you know I always taste his food like at night he usually um, he usually eats a lot of solids during the day and then at night he has like a puree with the oatmeal and like butter and fruit and meat and like vegetables and just pretty much everything and then like he'll have a piece of toast or something like that because he can eat a lot but whenever I mix something up I always taste it to make sure if it's like super gross then I don't you know try to doctor it up or something the meat it's so hard it's so nasty if you're good you can have 
This one is for you because you're awesome and deserve something too. Oh man. Oh, so pretty. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put it on now. Because I don't have a necklace on. And I love it. And then the other one I know is for you, Ronan. I'm gonna save this box too. For Christmas time. Oh, you're interfering with the cutting process. This is for your teeth. For the little man. Hope it helps. Love runs secret in my run. Natural pain relief that calms and soothes your child. And it says ah, ah. made out of like sunflower oil, chamomile, peppermint, certified organic ingredients. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I know that her son, Kai, is like having some skin troubles. Maybe he's allergic to oats. So I hope he's feeling better. And I definitely will tell you how this works so that you and everyone else knows for times of teething. But we're going to try it tonight. <laughs> I came over here originally just so that I could show you guys what the bottle looked like because I forgot to show you in case some of you guys are interested in getting this. But Bronx is in a really weird position. Ronan just got done having the biggest tantrum ever, which he was soothed by yogurt, so that's what we're doing. He's eating yogurt, playing with his little cup. I am about to watch The Bachelor, the sixth episode, I think, week six. This season of The Bachelor is kind of a letdown, to be honest. It's not that interesting, but I'm still watching it somehow. And update for Shameless um, is that... Hi! I think I'm in season five, and... I really wish that Steve or Jimmy or Jack or whoever he is would just stop coming back because he has like a little weasel face and I don't hate him but he's like nothing special. And so far I just met Gus. Hello. He's gorgeous. Except I was really sad that um, the actor that they had playing the restaurant owner, I think it was Jeffrey Dean Morgan or I think it was him at first in like one episode and then I came back in a different season. And suddenly it was another guy who is still attractive for an older man, but it just really messed me up because Jeffrey Dean Morgan is really a babe. Hey, Ronan, he just put yogurty mouth all over that cup. Gross. His nose is really looking pretty orange today. I don't even give him that much orange food anymore. And your ear looks dirty too, baby. I think you're gonna get a bath tonight. He's staring down at my water because I've been just drinking straight out of this jug that I bought of water because I really need to drink more water and hydrate, obviously, since my lips are all chapped and nasty. I feel like I had one other TV show that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Honestly, I can't remember, but um, I did want to say that a couple nights ago when I worked on Saturday, I forgot to mention that um, Ronan's dad's side of the family came in, like his mom and his two sisters and stuff, so I ran into them which was like slightly awkward but still nice and they were you know like oh we want to see Ronan sorry that we've been so bad about it I guess they've all been kind of sick like passing around to each other so they don't want to obviously give it to him so I might see if they actually do want to do that sometime when it's not snowing out which who knows when that will be because I could just drive out they live kind of like rural like in the middle of nowhere um but I could drive out there it's really pretty and then also last night Ronan. Um, Darian was messaging me when I was at work. It was so slow. Like, it was me, the manager, and the cashier, and there were barely any people in, but he was messaging me, and he was like, I came in to see you, like, 20 minutes ago to say hi, but I couldn't find you. But I guess because he went to the guy's side, he felt kind of weird, like, going to the girls' section of the clothes, and that's where I was, like, folding stuff, so... I didn't see him. I might not see him tomorrow since the freaking snow, which is really annoying, but I'm wishing... I'm doing 11-11 wishes on it. That's how I get things done. Optimism. And I guess we'll reschedule if we have to, but I'm really glad, kind of, that he didn't see me last night because I looked a mess. Have you guys ever seen Friends, like, the episode where Joey puts on all of Chandler's clothes at once? I felt like that. Like, I just looked like a little baby cow because I was so cold that I wore a tank top and then a fleece and then like a huge lumpy knit grandma style cardigan over that 
and it was so many layers and I looked gigantic, like 50 pounds more than I usually look. But I just wanted to be warm and I knew it was late at night and I wasn't going to see anyone important. So I was like, thank goodness he didn't find me. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we're going to watch The Bachelor. And if we do anything exciting, I'll turn the camera on. But I'm just doing laundry and stuff, so probably not. Ronan is really tired and therefore in a terrible mood. <laughs> but I thought I would show you guys what I do to get ready for his bath. So usually I take a diaper, butt paste, lotion, and this towel. And then I go over here into their room. And I pull back ugh, their comforter. I put the lotion and the diaper and stuff over here on the desk. I lay down his towel so that he'll be ready to just plop on there. And then I come over here and I turn on the heater so that the room will be warm when he's done. And then I bring a toy and a washcloth into here where he is being troublesome. What are you doing? What are you up to? And I just put that over here in the corner of the tub. Grab his soap eczema soap and we had to tape the drain down because he keeps pulling it off I think we were missing the screw or something but we'll fix that and then I can't show you because I don't have enough hands but I'm gonna take him in the bedroom and like undress him and leave his clothes there so that he'll be able to get back into them for some reason Bronx has joined us and is peeking Ronan's already trying to get into the tub he's clearly excited hold on little babe you have to take this off <laughs> Ronan is clean. 
bad news is that I was letting him air his junk out and like jump on the bed and hold on to me and stuff and yes he grabbed the necklace and it snapped so I'm very sorry Amanda it was so pretty I will try to find a way to fix it oh my goodness can you not hit me but yeah I just like he didn't even pull it that hard it just snapped so that is very unfortunate I only got to wear it a day but see look there's the where it's supposed to snap together and that is where it broke do you feel guilty He's just gonna run away and pretend he didn't do it. Never understood until I had a kid why, like, when you went to people's houses who have kids, there's always, like, a toy there, a toy there, balls, toys, a toy, a toy, a toy, a bottle. Like, I didn't understand why there were things strewn everywhere. And now I have a baby, and I'm like, okay, I get it. Because you put one thing down, they're bored of it in, like, two minutes. Then you have to throw another thing down, then that maybe for, like, five minutes, and you just keep throwing stuff down so you can get something done but now I understand and now my life is a mess and I love it it's time to watch shameless and you gotta sleep I wonder what babies dream about me and Darian were talking about that like you can only dream about what you know my best guess is that Ronan dreams about boobs milk cute animals good music that's pretty much all he knows so you're rocking the bed, baby. Say goodnight. <laughs>